In this video, I will explain how we can do the post order traversal using one stack. In post order traversal, first we visit the left subtree, then we visit the right subtree, and at the last we visit the root. So the order is left, right, and then root. Post order traversal of the given tree is this. I've already made a video explaining the recursive method and the post order traversal using two stacks in my previous videos. In this video, we'll see how we can do the post order traversal using only one stack. The first step is we create an empty stack. Then we keep a variable current, which we initialize with the root of the tree, which is A. Then we keep a second variable previous, which we initialize with null. Then we have this while loop, which we run till current is not equal to null or stack is not empty. So now current is equal to A. We go inside the while loop. We check this if condition. This is also true. So we push A on the stack. And current is now left of A, which is D. We again come in the while condition. Current is not equal to null. So we push D on the stack. And current is now left of D, which is H. We again come in the while condition. Current is not equal to null. We push H on the stack. And current is now left of H which is null. Then in the next iteration, current is null, but the stack is not empty. So we come in the else part. Current is now top of stack, which is H. We check right of current. So right of H is null. So this if condition is true. We print value of current. So we print H. We pop from the stack. We set previous equal to current. And we set current equal to null. Then in the next iteration, stack is not empty. So we come in the else part. Current is now equal to top of stack, which is D. Right of D is L. And previous is H. So this condition is not true. So we come in the else part. Current becomes equal to right of D, which is L. In the next iteration, current is not equal to null. So we push current on the stack. And current is now left of L, which is P. In the next iteration, current is not equal to null. So we push P on the stack. And current is now left of P, which is null. In the next iteration, stack is not empty. So we come in the else part. Current becomes equal to top of stack, which is P. Right of P is null. So this if condition is true. We print the value of current, which is P. We pop from the stack. We set previous equal to current and current equal to null. In the next iteration, stack is not empty. So we again come in the else part. Current becomes equal to top of stack, which is L. Right of L is null. So this if condition is true. We print the value of current. We pop from the stack. We set previous equal to current. So previous is L and current equal to null. In the next iteration, current is null, but the stack is not empty. So we come in the else part. Current is not top of stack, which is D. Right of D is L. Previous is also L. So this if condition is true. We print the value of current, which is D. We pop from the stack. We set previous equal to current. And we set current equal to null. In the next iteration, stack is not empty. So we come in the else part. Current becomes equal to top of stack, which is A. Right of A is Z. And previous is D. So this if condition is false. We come in the else part. Current becomes equal to right of A, which is Z. In the next iteration, current is not equal to null. So we push current on the stack. And current becomes equal to left of Z, which is null. In the next iteration, stack is not empty. So current becomes equal to top of stack, which is Z. Right of Z is C and previous is D. So this if condition is not true, we come in the else part. Current becomes equal to right of Z, which is C. In the next iteration, current is not equal to null. So we push current on the stack. And current becomes equal to left of C, which is null. 
in the next iteration stack is not empty so we come in the else part current becomes equal to top of stack which is c right of c is e and previous is d so this is not true we come in the else part current becomes equal to right of c which is e in the next iteration current is not equal to null so we push current on the stack and current becomes equal to left of e which is null in the next iteration stack is not empty so current becomes equal to top of stack which is e right of e is null so this if condition is true we print the value of current we pop from the stack and we set previous equal to current and current equal to null in the next iteration stack is not empty we come in the else part current becomes equal to top of stack which is c right of c is e previous is also e so this condition is true we print the value of current we pop from the stack we set previous equal to current and current equal to null in the next iteration stack is not empty current is equal to top of stack which is z right of z is c previous is also c so this if condition is true we print the value of current which is z we pop from the stack we set previous equal to current and current equal to null in the next iteration stack is not empty current becomes equal to top of stack which is a right of a is z and previous is equal to z so this is true we print the value of current which is a we pop from the stack we set previous equal to current and current equal to null in the next iteration we check the value of current so current is null and the stack is also empty so this while loop terminates and this is our post order traversal that we have obtained so the time complexity of this method is also order of n because the tree can be squid which is all the nodes are aligned in one direction so the height of the tree will be equal to number of nodes so time complexity is order of n where n is the number of nodes so we have seen all the methods of doing the post order traversal using recursion using two stacks and using one stack now let's see how we can implement this all the code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code in the main function i've created the tree so the root node is a left of a is d so in this manner i've initialized all the nodes of the tree then i have this function post order traversal in which i am passing the root node in this function i create a stack of type tree node and then have two variables current and previous current is initialized to root and previous is initialized to null then i have this while loop which i run till current is not equal to null or stack is not empty if current is not equal to null i push current in the stack and i go in the left otherwise i check the top node if the right of top most node is null or it is equal to previous i print it then i pop it from the stack and i reset previous and current otherwise i go in the else and go in the right direction of current so let's see the output of this program so the post order traversal using one stack is hpl dec za so that was all for this video if you have any doubts or suggestions please leave in the comment section below if you like my content please do like share and subscribe to the channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is sandeep thapar signing off